Uh, there was a little news today. I don't know if you want if you guys want to comment on that. This is this is Wilma Subra, who you saw in the film. Came all the way from. Uh, on her day off from the oil spill. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just going to hand over the mic and then we'll, we'll get a few more questions in. Thank you, it's a pleasure being here. It's nice to be out of the oil spill, dealing with it night and day. Uh, Josh presented with Calvin about the results of the air sampling that was performed in DISH. Following that, we did a health survey and 61% of the health symptoms recorded by the community of DISH are associated with the chemicals that are released from the compressor stations into the air. Today, the Department of Health Services in the state released a report where they had done 28 individuals, their blood, their urine, and their tap water, and analyzed the samples. They're making it no problem, not an issue. First of all, half the people with the chemicals in their blood that were tested, half the people have levels over the general population in the United States. So if we divide this in half, and I look at you and say, all of you on this side, you just happen to sit on this side, you have levels over the general population, but these don't. But these people have levels of the chemicals in their blood, but not over the population. Half the population is a huge, huge percentage for people being exposed to the chemicals that are being released in DISH. And the chemicals that they found in the blood and in the urine and in the tap water are the same chemicals that are being found in the air of DISH. Now, they found benzene in six people and they're trying to say that those people were smokers. Five of those were smokers and they try and dismiss all of the 50% as being smokers and the chemicals only associated with smoking. So when I actually look at the chemicals, 15 of them were over the standard, over the 50% mark for the whole United States. 10 of those 15 were more prevalent in non-smokers and smokers. Two were equal in non-smokers and smokers. And only three of those 15 chemicals were higher in smokers than non-smokers. So the issue is that it's not the people in DISH who smoke who have the high concentrations in their blood and in their urine. The issue is 50% of the people in DISH have concentrations over the average in the United States. Calvin? 